The year is 2013 and Swansea City have just lifted the Capital One Cup but had an absolutely unbelievable season finishing ninth in the Premier League in just their second season in the top division of England. They have also just signed a player from Vitesse Arnhem. His name is Wilfred Boney and he will score some goals for Swansea but he is not the cover star the legend of Michu is here and he is looking fantastic. So Michu, Wilfred Boney, Wayne Routledge, Nathan Dyer, Leon Britton, the list goes on. This Swansea team is full of nostalgia and in this retro database, we will be trying to make them a solidified top four team and maybe even lifting a European or major trophy along the way as well. So let's get into it in this retro 2013-14 Swansea rebuild. And of course, on top of all them unbelievable players, we have some unbelievable youngsters in the database that haven't quite hit their prime just yet, like Memphis Depay, who we have signed in the first season on loan for £1.3 million. Because you know what? Why on earth not? He might not get too much game time, but as a left winger, as a right winger, and as a 19-year-old Dutch winger who could go on to be one of the best players in the world... Why on earth not signing? This database is about fun. It's not about realism at all. It's about having a good time and signing some players that in real life maybe never made it. In real life were absolute cult heroes. And today that's what we've done with Memphis Depay. We're going to be setting up in the bog standard 4 2 3 1 that we use. And as we look through this Swansea team, the nostalgia, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely ridiculous. In goal is Michelle Vorm, one of the absolute heroes of one of my old, 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 old YouTube channels I had. I had multiple multiple videos on Michelle Vaughan making ridiculous saves on FIFA 12 um, if you want to see them we need to hit a million subscribers because they are horrendous. Uh, but Michelle Vorm is here. we got Angel Rangel at the right back. I'm sure it's not pronounced like that, but that is what I've always called him. Uh, we've got Jordi Amat at the other centre back, 21 years of age, and actually looks like a very good young prospect. And Ashley Williams as the other centre back, the Welsh centre half with 16 heading, great determination, great marking and tackling and physical attributes, could be a superb centre back. And Neil Taylor as a 24 year old left back is also looking absolutely brilliant. We've got Leon Britton, who is a bit of a Swansea legend in CDM. He can run for days. He can pass the ball like he's David Beckham, but in realistically, he's Leon Britton. And Jose Canias next to him, the Spanish central defensive midfielder for fantastic decision-making and positioning. And again, great physical attributes next to him. Pablo Hernandez off the right-hand side is an absolute legend as well. 28 years of age, great pace, decision-making, off the ball work, anticipation. He looks like an unbelievable right winger. And the main man the reason i wanted to do a swansea rebuild mission get me to the top that is the the title in my head mission me to he's a great shadow striker 16 finishing 16 heading 16 determination decisions 8 anticipation 19 composure 18 off the ball if you watched football back in you know 2012 2013 i think it was a 12 13 season when he got 18 goals in the league and he was simply ridiculous and he just burst onto the scene out of nowhere and he quite quickly burst off the scene as well i believe he's now a direct of football over in Spain and he's just an absolute legend so Michu is the reason we are here so welcome at Mission and Michu uh, Memphis the part of the left hand side has got some great stats free kick taken bravery and off the bulwark is brilliant he's someone that we could see become an unbelievable superstar for us or do absolutely nothing and uh, become a very average player. And the signing they've just made in real life at this point from Vitesse Arnhem is Wilfred Boney. And yes, you've all heard the song. Go, go, Wilfred Boney. Score some goals for Swansea. We go wild, wild, wild. Wilfred Boney is here and his stats are fantastic. Great finishing off the bulwark and physical attributes. Of course, he is going to score a ridiculous amount of goals for us. And as we go through the backups, we've got Gerhard Tremel, Ashley Richards, Chico, Gary Monk, is here as a centre back. Ben Davies is here as a 20 year old, as is John Joe Shelby, a 21 year old. Lord Voldemort is here in midfield. Uh, Sion Key was an unbelievable South Korean midfielder. Uh, we've got Nathan Dyer, Jonathan de Guzman, Wayne Routledge, uh, Alejandro Vazquez. Uh, we've got DeAndro T and Darley, Alan Tate, Leroy Lita, Curtis Obiang, Kyle Bartley, David Cornell, Alejandro Pozuelo, and uh, Ronnie Lama. We have got some absolute uh, players here, which, you know, 
are just such throwbacks. Uh, obviously, Manchester United have just won the league 2012-2013. We've just come in ninth place and got qualified for the Europa League, which starts in just a few days' time. We've got the FA Cup. We've got the Carabao Cup, which hopefully we could even go back to back in. That would be absolutely wild. We'd like to lift that again during these next few years. I've got no idea how long this rebuild is going to go on for, but similar to the Manchester United one we done last week, I'm going to be going pretty much until we uh, we, we, we are completing the, the, the sort of goal of making Swansea a top four, maybe top six side. Depends how difficult it is to break in to that top four. We want to win some major trophies along the way and hopefully some European trophies as well. So, But after that, once we've done the goal of the first four seasons, we are going to be going ahead to this present day and see if Swansea have stayed in the Premier League or like they did in 2018, have dropped to the face of the earth and gone back into championship fodder. Uh, so let's see what we can do. First season with the Mighty Swans. A tiny bit of housekeeping and just a massive thank you to you guys for the ridiculous support recently. The last week retro rebuild of Manchester United absolutely popped off and a massive thank you to you guys. That's why we're back here today. The goal is 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. So if you have not subscribed yet, there's around 80% of you that watch these rebuilds that are not subscribed down there. It's free. It's really, really easy to do. You click a button and it makes my life an absolute dream. So a massive thank you to you guys. And if you've got any recommendations for any other retro rebuilds get them down below in the comments because this Swansea one is from the comments there is rebuilds that have happened on the Ipswich one yesterday from the comments section they are all done via you guys so get your bits in down below well sadly we crashed out of Europe in the third place in our group stage with Fiorentina, Ostrovien, Sevilla and Swansea we come on seven points in third position which is a little bit frustrating which means there is no Europa League for us and it seems like the Europa Conference League is broken, or I guess he may have just done it, Mr. Tinney created the database so that there is no Europa Conference League because I suppose in 2013 there wasn't. So we have to sort of ignore the Europa Conference League, which is a little bit of a shame because this season in the Premier League, we come seventh, which was a big upgrade on last season when we come ninth. Um, but we were on 68 points, one point behind the Europa League spot, and we qualified for the Europa Conference League, which clearly isn't working, which means sadly we're not going to be in any European competition next season. It's going to show us that we're in one, but we're not going to be in one because it's not going to work, which is a little bit frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. Manchester City won the league with Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal, Manchester United, Newcastle in sixth place and us in seventh place. These top goal scorer charts, Loic Remy, Emmanuel Adebayor and Andy Carroll. That is when you know you're on a retro database with Meza Ozil, Jonas Gutierrez and Kevin Fiapol as the top assist players. Yellow cars, Paul McShane, Angel Rangel and Azpilicueta. Clean sheets, Joe Hart, Pet Echek and David De Gea and play the matches Loic, Remy, Nani and Jonas Gutierrez but our boys here at Swansea played absolutely fantastic. Wilfred Brony grabbing 25 goals and 3 assists in 41 appearances. The 25 year old Ivorian looks ridiculous and it's just simply fantastic. I am in love with this database and I'm in love with Wilfred Boney and Mission Michu because Michu himself also grabbed 13 goals and seven assists. Now he's 28 years of age and he's going to want to move to bigger clubs throughout this, but I couldn't care less because he's not going anywhere. I will literally make the whole squad unhappy if it means keeping Michu because Michu is here to stay and he's going to carry us to Premier League glory, hopefully potentially. Uh, Pablo Hernandez, 10 goals and 8 assists. Alvaro Vasquez, 7 and 1. John Joe Shelby, 7 goals and 8 assists. Sung Young Ki with 6 and 4. Nathan Dyer, 6 and 9. Angel Rangel with 4 and 9. And overall, the club was fantastic. Memphis Deploy, played five games overall and it didn't progress very well at all and hasn't enjoyed his time in Wales. So I suppose we'll say goodbye to Memphis Depay, but it's time to bring in some new transfers and some that we want to bring in. £58 million to spend, a lot of money in the wage budget. Money-wise here at Swansea, it's just going to go up and up and up. We've got absolutely no debt. We've got £105 million in the bank. So as long as we're not stupid, we could have lots of money. As someone who likes to get carried away with signings, of course, I have been stupid. So welcome Virgil Van Van Dyke to Swansea. Yeah, what an alternate universe this is. Here he is, Big Verge, defended with his aura and probably crying like he does every single day of the week. Uh, that fact that he can't beat Manchester United, very topical. Uh, Van Dijk is here, 17 anticipation, great defensive stats. And of course, at this point, he's at Celtic, where he's just signed for FC Gonagrin for 2.5 million. We've paid 22.5 million pounds to bring in Big Verge. He's got a value of 84 million pounds. I'll tell you what, it'll be interesting to see if we can make Big Verge quite as good 
good as he is in real life because that would be very, very fun. He's extremely consistent. He loves a big match. And of course, he is absolutely fantastic. And um, he could really propel this Swansea team to the next level. So welcome in Big Verge. And at this time, there was a Brazilian central attack midfielder with a whole ton of potential, which he never really reached is Ganso. This guy was spoken about along the eyes of Neymar and all the rest and never really left Brazil, I don't believe. I'm, to be honest, I'm not so up to date on what he's doing in real life. He might still be in Brazil at Sao Paulo for all I know. Let me know down in the comments if that is the case. He has got no pace, but he is a technical absolute genius. 17 techniques, 16 first touch, 18 flair, 16 decisions, 18 vision. Uh, but from what I sort of gathered, he never really was interested in leaving Brazil. He's quite consistent. He loves a big match. He's very, very injury prone. Maybe that is the issue, but welcome in Brazilian central tag midfielder Ganso and the final signing for £16 million is Steven Inzonzi. Yes, this man was at Stoke at this time and a fantastic young central defensive midfielder. I think this is the time when I watched Swansea at Stoke versus Manchester City in a nil-nil game with the Britannia and we have a memory between me and my best mate where he was running through on goal and he turned around and played for a draw at nil-nil. So match fixing for Manchester City since 2013, I do say. But in Zunzi, if you could not do that here at Swansea, that would be fantastic. He's extremely consistent. He loves big matches. And of course, £16 million seems like an absolute bargain for a DM of this sort of ability to play in the Premier League. So welcome him in. Uh, and the other two signings are both free signings. And again, complete and utter throwbacks because that's what this is about. Johan Almanda a Swedish striker who was at uh, Bolton at Norwich and here now at Swansea as a backup striker to Wilfred Boney. I mean, he can finish a ball. He's very determined. An absolute joke of a signing. Uh, £22,000 a week on a free contract. He'd probably do absolute bits for us. I'd sign him for complete memes. So welcome in, Johan Almanda. And the other guy I've mentioned was like a key unlocking my brain is Graham Dorans. Now, I've got no idea what this guy's doing in real life, but he's a Sky Central midfielder from West Brom and I just got released from his contract on a free contract as a backup midfielder. I thought, why on earth not? He looks great. And he actually helps us fit in to a brand new tactical style because we're moving to an inverted 4-3-3. So we need lots and lots of midfielders. So welcome Grant Dorans to the backup team. Uh, but the team was looking like so. Michelle Vorm in goal. Angel Rangel, Jordi Amat, Virgil van Dijk, Neil Taylor, Steven and Zonzi, John Joe Shelby and Ganso in midfield of Nathan Dyer off the right-hand side. Michu as a shadow striker who's going to play inverted off the left-hand side with Wilfred Boney up front now this tactic i've got no idea if it's going to work but because we're in a retro database we might as well have some fun the backups of gerhard tremble ashley richard chico ashley williams ben davis leon Britton, song young key uh, graham durans pablo hernandez wayne routledge johan almanta zabre Gary Monk, Joe Rodon, and Dan James. Now, again, with this database, it is absolutely crazy. Web Wonder Kids come through as regens. So a 16-year-old Dan James welcomed the club. What can we do in season two? Well, Wilfred Boney and Meech are having a fantastic time in this Swansea rebuild. Boney, 23 goals as top scorer of the league. And Meech in that brand new Shadow Stoker role at 20 goals, finishing second behind Big Wilf. And we have come sixth, which is the highest finish for Swansea, uh, 65 points 25 goal difference 19 wins 8 draws and 11 losses just three points off Arsenal, but 13 points off the top four, which seems quite set as United, Chelsea, Spurs and City. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to break into that. So I think that's the new goal of this is to break in to the top four. Manchester United have won the Premier League yet again and are carrying on that spell of dominance. And uh, now going back to back to back with uh, Manchester City, which is quite cool. The title staying in Manchester for five years now, up the mighty Reds. Uh, Manchester will always be red, of course. Uh, goals wise, Bowling scored 26 over the whole thing. Meet you 23, 8 from Sung Young Ki, uh, th 8 and 9 from Nathan Dyer, 7 and 7 from brand new signing Ganso, who, uh, you know, has taken to life in the Premier League quite well. Uh, John Joe Shelby hardly actually played this season, and Zonzi as our DM was brilliant. A 7.08 average rating, 7 assists and 4 goals. Yuan Almanda is now leaving the club, but after 3 games, getting 2 goals. Thank you, big Johan, for your contribution this season. Uh, Ashley Williams is doing bits, Dan James did bits in the game. He came on and played... 
Uh, brand new Salem Van Dyke for 6.85 with three assists. Graham Dorans is here as well. And of course, Angle Rangel, 11 assists, the absolute king. Um, the development center, that's pretty much it, I think, for Swansea with Joe Rodon and Dan James coming through the academy. We're not going to see many more players coming through the academy. We've got £68 million to go ahead and spend, but we're at least in the Europa League, which should work very well, which is good, rather than the Conference League, which sadly doesn't work. Uh, the FA Cup, we're fifth rounded by Arsenal. Capital One Cup, third rounded by Charlton is absolutely rubbish. I mean, Charlton quite, aren't quite as bad as they are in real life in this universe, but still a bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, teams going down, Bolton, Palace and Fulham. Teams coming up, I've got no idea. We're in the Europa League. Let's get into season three. Saida Berahino talk about another throwback we're gonna have a strike partnership of boney and berahino up top with michu in behind what world are we living in it's 15 finishing 50 determination and fantastic physical attributes now side berahino i believe just had injury issues and then attitude issues i think hopefully in this old universe he's not going to cause us any issues he's made a cap for england he's been smashing it at bolton and at west brom in this uh, alternative universe so side berahino welcome to the club hopefully he can do absolute bits he was 28 million pounds so a little bit pricey but hopefully that is going to pay dividends this season for us. Denis Garmash is the next signing we have made, a Ukrainian central midfielder from Dynamo Kiev. Now, I don't know if I've just got very, very poor ball knowledge. I've just got no idea who this geezer is. His stats are simply crazy. And for a fee of £24.5 million, he's a four and a half star player. He dies for big matches. He's extremely, extremely consistent. And um, he just looks simply ridiculous. So I've signed him and I, I don't know who this guy is. Again, if you know who this guy is, Get it down below. I've simply got no idea, but welcome in, Dennis Garmesh. He's going to be one of our best midfielders by far. A young Cedric Suarez has come in as a backup right back for Angel Rangel as well. 23 years of age, Portuguese international sign from Sporting CP over in Portugal. Uh, 16 crossing, great pace, great defensive work rate, and great defensive attributes. And signed for just £9 million. Another absolute bargain in Cedric Suarez. And a now Premier League centre back in Fabian Shah has come and joined. Swansea rather than Newcastle signed from FC Basel a partnership of Shah and Van Dyke seems rather lethal great uh, consistency and loves big matches 16 penalty taken 16 strength of course very good defensively as well and as a ball playing defender also Fabian Shah fits that ball uh, bill very very well just 11.75 million uh, he signed from Will he signed from me Bloody hell, that's a bit weird, isn't it? I sold him to Basel for 450k. I don't know where that money's gone, but welcome in uh, Fabian Shah. And then the last signing we made is a loan signing from Juventus. Is five foot five Sebastian Giovinco. Now this guy again is an absolute throwback. We've got an optional future fee of 41 million pounds. I doubt we'll do it, but he's got fantastic stats, great flair, first touch, free kick, passing, penalty taking technique and pace. And uh, hopefully he can come in and do absolute bits for us. I mean, we're in the Europa League, so it'd be good to try and win that one. Uh, a loan signing, we're paying £8 million over the whole course of the season. I think is an absolute bargain for someone this good. And it leaves the squad looking like so with Vorm, Suarez, Shah, Van Dijk and Davies. And Zonzi, Shelby, Garmes, Michu, Boney and Berahino in this 4-1-2-1-2. Hopefully we can get some fantastic results. We've got Bender, uh, Rangel, Jordi Amma, Ashley Williams, Taylor, Britton, Ganso, Wijnaldum, who are signed on a free contract, Pablo Hernandez, Giovinco, Nathan Dyer, Zabre, Wayne Routledge, Joe Rodon, Dan James, Ashley Richards, and Graham Durand. Gini Wijnaldum was a free contract from PSV, uh, obviously released from there, didn't sign a brand new contract as he was too good and has ended up here at Swansea. So welcome in Gini Wijnaldum. Season three, what can we do? Can we win the Europa League? Can we win an FA Cup, a Carabao Cup, a Premier League? I've got no idea, but season three, let's get into it. So this time out in the Europa League, we come top of our group, 16 points, five wins, one draw and zero losses because we had a group of Viking, Metalist and Maccabi Tel Aviv, but we were lucky enough in the round of 16 to meet eventual winners, Real Madrid, where we lost 4-0 on aggregate. And I mean, if we go through this Real Madrid side, I don't think it's fair that they're in our group. Karim Benzema, Gareth Bale, Di Maria, Isco, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Luka Modric, Xabi Alonso, Marcelo, Pepe, Varane, Ike Casillas, Hakimi, Morata, Ira Mendy, Fabio Coentrao, and of course, Ronaldo, the best player to ever grace the earth. My goat, Cristiano. There he is. Look, the absolute king that he is. Um, yeah, I mean just unfair really we would have won that but yep they come in and ruined our day the fa cup we got quarterfinal by eventual winners manchester city in a 4-0 loss which is again 
very, very frustrating because you never know. You never know what happens. I'd like to have played him in the final. Get us to Wembley and we showed in the Capital One Cup in real life. We can go ahead and win stuff. But if we're not at Wembley, it's a little bit ropey. Uh, so a 2-0, well, a 4-0 loss to FA Cup champions. Manchester City is very, very frustrating. And uh, in the third round of the Carabao Cup, not quite as sexy as Real Madrid and uh, Manchester City. We lost 2-0 on penalties to Crew Alexander. Uh, so we didn't win that either. And Cardiff won it, which is... Yeah, very, very frustrating as someone playing a Swansea. So we'll leave that there. Uh, Premier League wise, we come fifth and another improvement in the table is fantastic. We've gone ninth, seventh, sixth, fifth, including the ninth in real life, which is brilliant. And we were on 72 points, just one point away from Champions League football is a little bit heartbreaking, but we move. It's not the end of the world. A very, very good season. 22 wins, six draws and 10 losses. With Papa Cissé, Wilfred Boney and Bjorn Sigurdsson as the top goal scorers in the league. Average rating wise, Raphael from Manchester United, Papa Cissé and Petropia. And assist wise, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain has rocked up and he's not an absolute failure. He's worth 250 million quid. So he's quite good, isn't he? And our squad was absolutely fantastic again this season. Now, we did end up changing back to our inverted 4-3-3 because that 4-1-2-1-2 just was not working in the slightest. And it managed to get the best out of, um, what's his name? Giovinco, out of Michu and out of Wilfred Boney as they were our top three goals and assist man. 27 from Boney, 24 from Michu and 16 for Giovinco. Six and eight for Ganso. Six goals, no assists in five starts and 12 of the bench for Sado Berahino. Um, but, you know, not a bad season in the league as a backup striker to Big Wilf. We certainly don't mind that. He is now afraid of big matches and not very consistent, which is my least favourite things in the world. But we move. Uh, Fabian Shaw was fantastic. Wijnaldum was a very good backup for us. Cedric Suarez, 12 assists is very, very impressive. Uh, ben Davies was seven as well as now our best left back, but is leaving on a free contract to the Stuttgart. So thanks, Ben Davies. I didn't realize your contract was running out. I missed it. So Ben Davies is gone. Uh, Michelle Vorm as well this season. A 7.07 .07 average rating was third on the clean sheet list. Absolutely fantastic goalkeeper. An absolute hero, like I said, of my old YouTube channels in Michelle Vorm. Finances wise, we're looking great. Lots of money in the bank. £61 million to go ahead and spend for season four. This is the season I want to try and lift a big old trophy. We're now at the point where we're hopefully next season going to get into the top four as well. We're on an upward slope. Can we take that to the top of the Premier League? And to hopefully take us to that next step is a superhero. It's Hulk, of course, the Brazilian right winger who blasts free kicks from 50 yards into the top corner with absolutely no issue is coming to Swansea. He is very, very consistent. He loves a big match and was signed for just £17 million from Zenit over in Russia uh, after he joined there from Porto. Obviously, this is in Russia, one of the you know big money leagues in uh, Europe. He has been absolutely smashing it. A 7.68, a 7.41, a 7.76 and £17 million is an absolute bargain. Just look at them stats. He is going to be absolutely superb for us and makes that front three. Now, Wilfred Boney, Michu and Hulk. That is a throwback and it is absolutely fantastic. For one point. 2 million. We brought an experienced Spanish midfielder, Xavi Fuego, to come in and be a rotation option in midfield. Uh, simply just a very experienced, good head, very consistent, loves big matches, great positioning, teamwork and work rate. And is just going to tick us over and be a good rotation option. Hopefully play 10 to 15 games this season. Kieran Tierney has been signed rather than going to Arsenal as the one of the best left backs on this database. £19 million signed from Celtic. An absolute bargain for someone with these sort of stats. That's, as you can see from his value, rising to £76 million already. Very eva footed, great strength, positioning, technique, great defensively, great pace, and hopefully can beat our left back for years and years to come. Uh, Nick Powell has been brought in on a loan contract from Manchester United. Now, Manchester United signed him uh, from Crew when I think they beat us 4 0. Uh, we then signed Nick Powell, and then we loaned him out to Wigan. And uh, yeah, things haven't quite gone the way Nick Powell would have hoped in real life. But on this database, he can still be one of the best central attack midfielders on the game with 18 flair, 18, uh, 16 first touch and great physical attributes. Hopefully Nick Powell can be a superstar for us. 1.9 million pounds is all we're paying over the season. So hopefully he can come in and be brilliant for us. James Justin has also brought in on a loan contract from Southampton. Now he starts his career at Luton, uh, but Southampton signed him in this database for 69,000 pounds and then we've paid 1.2 million 
million pounds for a loan deal for him for the season. He's pretty much a backup right back. Isn't going to get much game time at all, but is good enough to come in. A nice young prospect, extremely consistent. And our last signing is a big signing of a central defensive midfielder of Fernan Dow. 21.5 million pounds. He comes in as a superstar CDM and it looks absolutely brilliant. 16 marking, 16 positioning and a hopefully for us can be an absolute superstar. 21.5 million pounds. We signed him actually during the middle of the last season, which I forgot to bring up. And that's because Steven and Zonzi's release clause was triggered for 33.5 million pounds to Aston Villa, which is very, very frustrating. Uh, big up Steven and Zonzi. Uh, good luck in your failed career at Aston Villa because we are taking Swansea to the very, very top. The outgoings have been fairly sort of null and void over the last few years. Um, not really many players leaving for too much money. Song Young Ki left for 35 mil to Wigan. Chico to Al Arabi for 18 million to Al Arabi. Um, six million pounds in this window. Sung Young Ki is pretty much it and Steven and Zonzi of course leaving us and Ben Davies leaving us on a free contract as well this 4-3-3 free, free inverted looks great now with Vaughan Suarez Sharp Van Dijk Taylor Fernandao Shelby Garmesh Hulk Michu and Boney uh, we are looking very very strong we're obviously in the Europa League yet again we're in the FA Cup we're in the Capital One Cup and of course the Barclays Premier League can we break into that top four can we win the Premier League that is the goal so let's see if we can do it well, we can't win the Premier League, but we can win the FA Cup. Chelsea is who we are up against, and Hazard has just whipped the ball into Romelu Lukaku to make it 1-0 to Chelsea. But Hulk down the right-hand side plays through Michu, who bursts into the middle, finds Nick Powell with a powering effort from 25 yards out to make things 1-1. Fabian Schaal stops Eden Hazard trying to cut in off that right -hand, left-hand side to John O'Mikel. Hulk makes a mistake. It falls to Juan Mata to make it 2-1 to Chelsea, but we're going to make it 2-1. A long ball forwards to Saido Berahino, who... Hold on. How was he not offside there? D hang on. Hang on. I, I need to see this again. Am I Am I tripping? He looks about 50 yards offside. He's played that to absolute perfection, apparently. Even though in my eyes, he looks very offside still. Nick Power the ball through to Berahino, who's apparently not offside. He bursts through on goal and beats Thibaut Courtois uh, to make it 2 all. An absolute travesty, no VAR. Uh, Shah to Powell to Shelby to Ganso through the middle, who drives through with that 10 pace and finds the top corner against Courtois. In extra time to make it 3 all. Juan Mata whips it in and Chalabro at the back stick makes it 3-3. Three, three, and Hulk whips it in for us to Fabian Shah in the 160 minute and Swansea lifts an FA Cup trophy which is absolutely superb. Nick Powell, Berahino, Ganso and Shah with a stand-up performance. Uh, sadly a highlight reel with no Boney or Mitchell in the score sheet but it is what it is. And I think that shows that we are coming to the end of this rebuild. We have just come fourth in the Premier League with Swansea. And I think it's nearly impossible to catch this Manchester United side that are 12 points clear at the top from us. Have won the league three seasons in a row. But we have got Swansea to Champions League football. And of course, this save file is available for you guys on Patreon down below. It is linked in the top of the description. If you guys want to pick up this onesie save, feel free to do so. It is on Patreon in the rebuild file section for uh, £5 a month. And obviously, over Christmas, there'll be a few rebuilds coming out. So if you're looking for a brand new save, that could be a perfect little Christmas present to yourself. And obviously, it helps support me. And uh, obviously, Patreon goes a massive way in improving the setup, etc. So a massive thank you to anyone that can do that. But if you want to pick up this onesie save file, that is also down below. We've got you into Champions League football. Wilfred Boning has scored 23 goals this season. But sadly, the age of the squad is catching up with us. A 31-year-old Michu is probably at the very top of his game and is not going to go any better. Uh, 14 goals in 31 games, 6 assists, a 7.24 average rating. But I've got a feeling he's getting very, very unhappy and still wants to move to that bigger club. Wilfred Boney absolutely smashing it. 29 goals in 41 games. Doesn't actually want to leave. But again, it's probably at the very top of his game. And we're not going to be able to improve much more on him. Hulk, we signed as a... a, a Pretty much a, a last-ditch effort to get us to the Premier League trophy. He's now 30 years of age. Scored 13 goals and got 15 assists and a 7.3 average rating. Uh, Denius Garmash is now 27 years of age and again in his prime is 7.07. John Joe Shelby has developed very nicely, being a sort of a rotation midfielder for us this whole time. Has got an England cap under his belt and is a very good Premier League midfielder, which is great to see. Uh, Fernando Van Dijk, Neil Taylor, Shah Suarez, Michel Vorm. Michel Vorm, I mean, is now 30. 33 years of age. 
we're at the top of the club and from here i think it's a downward spiral but hopefully that's not the case we are going to be now residing from swansea manager and going to present day so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead another six years because it's been four years of the rebuild and see what we can do well what swansea have done over the last six years have they stayed in the premier league or did they fall like they did in real life well i'll tell you what they have certainly fallen but are still in the premier league you can see the rise of growth we had obviously picking up in this 23 24 season six uh, ninth to seventh to sixth to fifth to fourth a very nice little graph there uh, and then since we left it's not gone fantastic ninth to eighth to twelfth to ninth to fourteenth they're still a mid-table Premier League club they haven't won any other major competitions which isn't the end of the world and one thing I did forget to mention in the end of season four the Europa League bugged out again so I'm going to message Mr. Tinney uh, the legend who created this database and just mention that to him uh, that's a few times that the uh, you know European competitions haven't quite worked worked as they were supposed to but it's not the end of the world it is a fantastic database and again the link to the database is down below the Swansea team in present day right now in real life is a uh, was check Pozlowski in goal who starts this at uh, Udinese in goal with no idea who you are uh, Pulisic as right back Kostas Manolas and John Woodford at the back with Kieran Tierney at left back uh, Gaston Gil Romero uh, Imran Luiza uh, Ossian Yozjakub is a fantastic throwback uh, Alexis Salimakas uh, Jakub Kaminski and Florian Balogun up front uh, Cedric Suarez keys the ball Josie Altidore uh, Cody Gakpo is here uh, Fernando Angel Correa from Atletico Madrid is here uh, Dan James and Dylan Levitt also uh, but Swansea are a mid-table Premier League club never got relegated so I think we were quite successful I mean that's very interesting Mbappe's at Arsenal do you guys want to see a 10-year simulation of what this database predicts for some of the best players in the world let me know down below thank you for watching if you haven't seen the other retro database that was Manchester United and it's linked down there somewhere give it a watch subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you next time